So Tokyo Game Show is nearly among us, and it is of course the premier show for not just JRPGs, but Japanese games in general. We get updates from Japan about the latest JRPGs throughout the year, but TGS is where everything is going to be shown off. At least I hope. And I know we have lists of developers and publishers of what games are going to be appearing at TGS, but there's always that surprise announcement that can take everyone for a loop. So of course you know I have to give you the 5 JRPGs I want to see at Tokyo Game Show. The next Tales of Game. Probably the game I want to see the most at this year's TGS is the next Tales of game. The Tales of series has been going strong, but has also been dark for some time now. The last game in the Tales of series, Tales of Viseria, released in Japan in 2016, and we haven't heard anything about a new mainline entry ever since. Sure, we are getting the Tales of Vesperia Definitive Edition coming out early 2019, but it would be nice to hear about the new flagship title. This new Tales of game will be fully developable current generation technology from the ground up so hopefully we can see a tales of game in a different style and utilizing the full graphical capabilities of the current gen and i would really love for the game to be in the same graphical style as vesperia but i kind of think that's just wishful thinking but hey one can dream right shimagami tensei 5 I would love to see virtually anything on Shin Megami Tensei 5. I'd be happy with just a simple UI image or just some character designs or a 10 second trailer. We need something on SMT5. The most recent update on the game ensured us that the game was still being made and is in active development, but the fact that we haven't seen any character designs at the very least is rather alarming. SMT is one of my favorite JRPG franchises and yes, I would like for them to take their time and make a stellar game, but it was announced in 2017 with a teaser trailer and then another teaser trailer was released basically giving us almost nothing on the game. So it'd be great if we could see something, anything on Shin Megami Tensei 5. But it is nice that the producers of SMT5 said that they are interested in working on a not turn remaster and are waiting for an opportunity to make that happen. I mean, I'll take a not turn port announcement if we don't get anything on SMT5 at the very least. Dragon Quest XI on the Switch, or maybe even Dragon Quest XI 3DS version being localized. Putting this game on this list was kind of weird for me, but I'm playing Dragon Quest XI now on PC and I'm really in love with the game. From the characters to the gameplay and the great graphics, Dragon Quest XI is something I feel everyone should have the opportunity to play. But some of you Switch owners are sticking to your guns and not playing this masterpiece because you're waiting on the Switch version to drop. I guess I can give you guys credit for being patient, and I'll admit having Dragon Quest XI in the palm of your hands would be awesome. So any update on the progress of this game coming to the Switch, and I can't believe I'm saying this, I would actually be happy for you guys. And maybe just maybe by some crazy miracle we can get the 3DS version, the old school style version localized so people like me can play the game in the retro format we love. Fire Emblem Three Houses of course, me being a lightweight Fire Emblem fan, I can't wait to see what else is coming next in the latest entry to this long-running series that got revived with Fire Emblem Awakening because of its waifu shipping. Yeah, yeah, Fire Emblem hardcore fans out there, we know that you hate that fact, but hey, it is what it is. We did get a nice little trailer for the game at a Nintendo Direct early in the year, but of course, it'd be nice to see something more. Maybe a new trailer with a release date, or more characters being shown off, or just some more gameplay. Whatever it is, I'm sure I'll be happy just to see what this next Fire Emblem has in store for us. Just don't let the three houses part be three separate versions of the game like what happened with Fates. Please, I don't want that, and I don't think anyone else does. Final Fantasy VII Remake. Of course I have to hold out hope for something anything on Final Fantasy 7 Remake appearing at Tokyo Game Show. A 5 second trailer showing us what we've already seen of the game? I'd be okay with that. A member of the development team assuring us that the game will come to PS4 and not the PlayStation 6 in 2030? I'd be able to sleep at night finally. 
or just a small image at the back of Tifa's head, letting us know that they at least settled on her potentially new redesign. Sure, why the hell not? Anything on this game square, and I'll not only be surprised, but I'll be content for the rest of the year when it comes to the Final Fantasy VII Remake. And so there you have it. Those are my five JRPGs. Well, really four JRPGs. We all know Final Fantasy VII is not gonna be there. That I want to see at this year's Tokyo Game Show. I do hope we see at least one of these games at the event and I can't wait for Tokyo Game Show to get here. Let me know in the comments what you guys think and what games you wanna see at Tokyo Game Show this year and subscribe if you're new to the channel and of course, hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.